Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in the last couple of videos, we walked through how to set up two different types of order forms. We also set up our upsells and our downsells, and we put in a confirmation page. And we showed how using the CF UVID, we can actually send somebody an email, or it could be even in a link somewhere. Um, as long as you have that uh, URL, uh, we can send somebody an email with a link in it that will drive them back to an upsell page or a downsell page and have them purchase without having to enter their credit card information again. So today what we're going to look at is the products tab. We have all kinds of products we need to set up for our funnel. So we're going to go through the products tab and do all of that. And as always, if you like my videos, make sure you uh, click the subscribe button down here in the bottom right hand corner. So let's go to our two step order form to start with. And we're going to set up a product in there. And then all the rest of the products are going to be set up pretty much exactly the same way going forward. So we're going to come into products. And the first thing we're going to do, of course, is click on add product. And in this case here, we're going to be using Stripe because PayPal does not work with the upsells and downsells. And so if you want to see how to set up PayPal and also how to set up Stripe as a payment gateway, go to that section of the training on payment gateways and it shows you exactly how these got set up. Now we want to, we can add another payment integration here. We click here and it'll actually take us to the integrations where you can set up another, another payment gateway. But today we're just going to click on Stripe. Now, since shooting the original Stripe videos, they've changed this out a little bit on the order on the ad, uh, ad product page here, is before they had the subscription and the payment plans all put together. Here what they did is they've now split it out a little bit. So how it is now is if you have a subscription, that means that it goes on forever. So let's say you're charging somebody $47 a month and it's forever. So you would set up that subscription inside of Stripe and it would just continue on forever. Whereas a payment plan is set up exactly the same way inside of Stripe, but inside of ClickFunnels you just say, okay, well this is gonna last for like 12 months and you put in the number of months. Before you would put in that it was a subscription plan and the number of months together. Now they just split it out. Really, uh, I don't think it was necessary. But either way, that's what it is. But in our case here, everything we're going to have is a one-time payment. So we're just going to click on Save and Next. You could also just click on the little tabs across the top and move across here. So what we're going to do is we are going to call this two-step number one. And we're just going to say that this product is a $37 product. And in this case, we're not going to put in any kind of a price override because we're going to create several products for the two-step order form, a couple for the one-step order form, and the same thing with the upsells and downsells. We're going to probably create multiple products just to show you how that would all work out. So let me see here. Product description. This, again, is for... Um, just for the credit card, so I'll just put in description for now. Is this an order bump? No, it is not. Product quantity limiter, that, I have an entire training on that, so we won't go through that right now. And we're going to say save and next. Now you can set up whether or not ClickFunnels from right here will send out an email confirmation. So you can toggle that on and off. But for right now, let's leave it on to show you how to fill this out. And so here we're going to have our email subject line. And below that is the body of your message. As you can see, we have an editor up here. And we can make things bold, italicized, you know, whatever. Basic editor functions. You can even put in an image if you want. I don't see anywhere here you can put in a button. But what it's going to say is obviously you can type in any text you want here. And then it's going to have this here. Product thank you page. That product thank you page will tell them to come to whatever page we set down here at the bottom. 
So again, you can turn this off or you can leave it on. Um, in most cases, especially if you use an Actionetics or something like that, you may just turn this off. But it doesn't hurt to leave it on. Just give them one more opportunity to be able to know where to go to. Give them an email so they can click and go find their product, download it, or in our case here, we can go to a membership area as well. And so we got all kinds of different places here. Now, I did not set up anything. I don't have a thank you page or a membership area in this this funnel yet. So you would just go through and you would find the either the thank you page or the membership area. So we'll just put here, I don't even know what uncensored sales course is, but we will just click on that and say we're going to send them to a membership area or we can unclick that and we can find a thank you page in here somewhere and we can send them to that thank you page. All right, there's one right there. We can send them to a thank you page if you want to. So all this does is this says, where is somebody going to go once they click on this link? Either a thank you page or membership area is where you can send them to. So we will just click on save and next. Or like I said, you can just completely turn that off because it's not necessary. So now we have a follow-up action. So somebody came in and they bought this product. What else do we want them to do? Well, inside of MailChimp, let's just say, we'll click on MailChimp, and we can add them to a list inside of MailChimp. So we'll just click on here, add to list, and then it will populate, and you can pick out the list you want them added to once they purchase that product. Or you could, with Twilio, you could send them an SMS text message. So we will just say send SMS, and then you can type in whatever message you want sent to them. But of course, you will have to collect an email, uh, I'm sorry, not an email, a uh, mobile phone number in order to be able to send them that text message. Or if you're using Actionetics, we have the same options as we normally do. We could add them to a list, and we can pick a list to add them to. We can remove them from a list, add a tag remove a tag, um, or even get an email notification, which in this case here, um, give that a try again. I, I mentioned in the automation thing earlier that that didn't seem to be working for me, uh, but I've never actually tested it inside of here. So once somebody makes a purchase, um, test it to see if the email notification will work. But again, all you have to do is put in your email address and it will send you a notification every time somebody purchases the product. So we can click on save and next. And then we have shipping integration, which in most cases you're not going to use, but you can have Kunaki or Disk Delivered send out the uh, packages for you. And then you can also set up a, an affiliate. Uh, if, you're, if you're wanting to sell this as an affiliate, you can set all of that up. But again, we're not going to look at that at this time. So we will just turn off the provide commission. And then the last thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our summary after we click on save and next. And so it gives us our summary here. We got um, Stripe. It's a one-time payment type. Here's the name of it, the price, everything here. It's not an order bump. And all the rest, even they even shows you the email and what your actions are going to be and the whole thing. So we can just go return to the product list. So setting up the products is all pretty much the same throughout the whole thing, but I will just show you one difference here. We will add our product. And again, we're not looking at PayPal products on this one because you can't use them for upsells or downsells. And so we're just going to go back to Stripe. We're going to stick with our one-time payment. Again, if you want to know about subscriptions, I shot another video for that. And we'll just click on that, and we're just going to call this here two step, but this time it's going to be our bump offer. And let's just say again here, we're going to have a $27 bump offer, US dollars, price override. Actually, I don't even think applies for a bump. And again, here you want to put in what's going to show up on the credit card statement. And what we're going to do different is we're going to click this as a bump product. And again, a uh, quantity limiter is another video. We will do save and next. And of course, then you can set up where you want them to go as far as a thank you page, whether or not you want to send them an email directly from here, or if you want to send an email from MailChimp, 
or any other third party uh, integration or Actionetics, any one of the above, you can choose that. And then, of course, as I said, the follow up actions, et cetera, et cetera. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to build out a whole bunch of products in here so that we can then go in in the next video and test everything out. So that is it really for this video today because the next one, like I said, we're going to be testing our products and I need to put in about 20 products in order to do that. So again, if you like my videos, click the subscribe button below. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.